Four family members and a close family friend in a rural town in northeastern Washington are facing years in federal prison for growing their own medical pot. So Larry Harvey is one of the guys. He's 70 years old. His wife Rhonda is 55. Their son Roland is 33. Roland's wife Michelle is 35. And close family friend Jason Zucker is 38 years old. And they were individually growing a total of 74 marijuana plants at this one residence. Now, this is 100% in compliance with state laws because uh, in Washington, you're allowed to grow up to 15 plants each. So 15 plants per person. So if you do the math on it, you find out they are within uh, what the law demands. But apparently there was a federal um, airplane that was flying over one day and they saw some marijuana and... They contacted other people in the federal government. And then, next thing you know, the feds were spying on them. They raided them. They seized a lot of their plants. They left. Then they came back and took the rest of their plants. Then they took their car, $700 in cash, a computer, a motorcycle, an ATV, and all of the family guns... So this is uh, over the top, no matter how you look at it, because Washington just legalized recreational weed on top of the fact that they had medical marijuana as law since 1998. But, okay, so you might be thinking, well, wait a second. Uh, maybe, these, maybe it's a ruse. Maybe they're not even, you know, growing the plants for medical reasons. Maybe they're selling it and they didn't get a license or something like that. Um, in which case, maybe the feds are justified in doing what they're doing. Or the feds are justified anyway, right? Because federal law supersedes state law. That's the supremacy clause of the Constitution. So even though we don't like it sometimes, yes, the federal government does have jurisdiction uh, to do this. But, and there's a big but here, if you thought that the medical marijuana thing wasn't necessarily true, quote, Larry spent just 17 days in jail uh, when they arrested them for this, but emerged with a permanently disfigured foot. Larry has severe gout, and Rhonda says he was denied the medication he needed while in jail, leaving him with even more trouble walking than he had before. This is legitimately for medical purposes. Quote, Rhonda suffers from osteoarthritis and has undergone multiple joint and bone surgeries. A small amount of medical cannabis eased her inflammation and pain. It was the only thing that worked for her. Rhonda's son, uh, Roland Gregg, and family friend Jason Zucker both used medical marijuana to treat chronic back pain and inflammation related to severe back injuries. Keep in mind, this is all verified by their respective doctors. And also, when it comes to the guns, quote, Larry and Rhonda live in the wilderness of northeast Washington near the U.S. and Canadian border and have encountered black bears, cougars, and coyotes at their front door on several occasions. And because of that, Larry kept a loaded handgun in a master bedroom dresser so that while he was away for work, his wife would be able to protect herself if need be. But you know what the federal government is claiming? They're saying, no, no, the presence of any firearms indicates that these guys were involved in drug trafficking. So get this, they rejected a plea deal, which would have, they would have had to spend three years in jail each, okay? They rejected the plea deal, now they're facing 40 years, and the feds are moving forward with the case. So let's review, let's review here. What you have is a family of medical marijuana growers with ailments that they could prove they have, okay? A family of medical marijuana growers who smoke to ease their ailments, okay? They don't bother anybody. And the federal government has now arrested them, put them on trial, and they're trying to put them in jail for 40 fucking years. And this is all happening in a state where marijuana is legal, not just for medical reasons, but also for recreational reasons. You want to talk about a gross, perverse, disgusting obscene abuse of authority and power? This is as bad as it gets, man. I mean, we can pretend all day long if we want that we're living in a free society. Oh, the United States of America, we care about freedom and justice and... Look, politicians can use that as a talking point, 
but they don't fucking mean it. If they mean it, freedom does involve standing up for people's rights to take a substance as long as they're not hurting anybody else. You can put in your body whatever you want to put in your body as long as you're not hurting anybody else. That is right in line with the idea of freedom. Freedom is not, let's have this vague, abstract, gov governing body tell you what you can and cannot put in your body. That's the opposite of freedom. That's tyranny. But here we're dealing with a situation where it's even worse than usual. Because this isn't like somebody who's trafficking a tremendous amount of, of you know, some hard drug like crystal meth. This isn't somebody who's ruining lives. These are just people who, even if, even if they weren't taking it for medical reasons, which, again, it's proven that they are, it would still be ridiculous. They're not hurting anybody. These are people living in the middle of nowhere who smoke up to ease their, you know, their physical pain, and the government's going to put them in jail for 40 years. That's the max sentence. For, they're trying to put them behind bars and take away their freedom. Look, man, if they end up uh, being found guilty... If Obama doesn't issue a pardon, there's no justice in this world. There's no justice in this world. You are destroying their lives. Even the fact that they had to leave their fucking house to go to court in the first place to deal with this bullshit is a ridiculous obstruction of freedom, in my opinion. But the fact that you might put them in jail, you might put them in jail for not hurting anybody and just having weed to ease their pain because and they oh they grow it on their premises so it's not allowed guys fuck off man fuck off get out of our lives if we're not hurting anybody what fucking business is it of yours you know in this case it's the government that are the thugs the government are the thugs they're the gangsters they're the mafia they're the organized criminals here you know it's not a criminal act what these guys are doing with that marijuana god this gets me pissed off man because you're ruining their lives and they didn't do anything wrong.